everyone. If you clicked on this tutorial, then you are wanting to learn how to use our extra characters and alternate characters in Design Space if you've purchased one of our super fonts. So I'll go ahead and show you how to go through that and to get those changes made in Design Space for your Cricut. First thing you'll do is you'll go to our website and once you purchase one of our fonts, which the one I'm going to be using today is our new Halloween Flutter font. As you can see here, it's got a lot of little extra characters and a lot of little extra pieces of clip art as well. You can see it has some few border pieces or accent pieces and that allows you to kind of create either a whole design or maybe just, you know, a simple font or a simple word. Once you install that font, you'll go to your Cricut Design Space. Now I'm just gonna type this out real quick, regularly. We're gonna do Happy Halloween. This is what it's gonna look like when you first type it out. Now, to change the characters, what you'll need to do is you'll need to go into your program, Character Maps, which all Windows have this already installed and I will show you what it looks like. So here's the one that comes installed already in your Windows. As you can see, everything's really kind of tiny and it's hard to see what you're looking at. So I have found a program that is for Windows and it's actually a lot better and I'll show you how to get it. It's really easy. So you'll go back down to your windows and you'll go to your Microsoft store. You'll go to search and type in character. And the first thing that'll pop up will be character map UWP. That's the one you're going to want to install. So as you can see here, I already have it installed, but I just kind of wanted to show it to you so that you know what it looks like. Over here it would say install, so you'll click install and it'll do the work for you and it'll already go onto your windows. Now that you have that installed, you'll click on your windows and you'll type in character. And it's going to be the first one that pops up now, so you'll click on that. And as you can see, it's already a vast improvement in my opinion. I can see everything and I can see what I'm looking at as far as like little pieces of the clip art and the different variations of the font. So now that I have it up, I want to go ahead and choose some alternate characters to my Happy Halloween. First, let me delete this. Okay, now that I have that deleted, I'm going to go back to my character map window. Another cool feature that they have here is I'm going to show you, it's going to make it a little bit easier before you had to copy and paste each individual letter to change that alternate character. But down here they've added like a window so I can add multiple at a time. As you can see here, I'm just choosing random letters. So that kind of allows me to kind of see exactly how I want my happy Halloween to look. So I'll go back, I'm just going to clear this, and we'll start picking out the letters that I know that I need, which I am spelling out Happy Halloween, so I want to have different P's, different H's, you know, stuff like that. So I will first choose, I already have a pumpkin H, so I want to find like a different H. Typically this would be in alphabetical order, sometimes the character map can kind of jumble things up, but it's nice to have this bigger screen so you can see it all. Okay, here's one with the cat, as you can see over here, I'm going to add it down to my bottom screen. I want to choose maybe a different A, I believe that I already have an A with a bat, so I want to try to find something a little different. There's an A. And you don't have to go in alphabetical order, or excuse me, you don't have to go in the order of like maybe what you're spelling. If you see something that you like and you know that you want, like I want this L, so I'm going to go ahead and add that in there. And I'll show you how to rearrange them as we go back to the screen. Here's an E with a skull that I want to add. There's an O with a spider. I want to add that. There's a little zombie hand here. I believe that's a capital I, but I'm going to utilize it for some L's. So I'll go ahead and copy and paste that down here. I'll grab a W. And of course you can always add extra things in here. If maybe you see two W's you like, you can go ahead and add both of them and you can always delete it later. So that way you're not constantly going back and forth between the character map. 
Here's a P that I like. I was kind of going with lowercase for the rest of the letters, but um, it is a capital P, but I like it and I think it'll work. So I'm gonna throw that down there. I'll throw another N in there too with a little bat. I don't think I have that, so I think that'll work. So this looks good for now. I can always come back, but I'm gonna go ahead and bring this to my Cricut design space for my canvas. So now that I have all those characters, I need to go over to the right here and click copy. This will copy that so I can bring it into design space. I'll start a new text here and I press paste. And here is my alternate characters. Again, they're all jumbled and they're all connected right now, but that's an easy fix. Up here at the top, you'll see where it says advanced. You'll click on that and it'll be a drop down menu. You will click on group letters. And as you can see here, they are all free to move. Same thing with these. They are all grouped together, so you need to go to advanced and ungroup letters. Now that I have everything kind of ungrouped and free to roam, I can then start kind of arranging things the way I like them. So I'll take out this H, put my little cat in there. I think I'm gonna take out that A, put this A in. And as you go and you arrange, you'll kind of just size everything. I'll take out that L, put in this L. But once I put those together, I can kind of see that the this L overlaps the one with the broomstick. So I'm gonna arrange this on that side, maybe. Works a little bit better. Oh, but I brought these zombie hands in. I want to use my zombie hands. I think they'll look really cool. So I only have one, so I'll just copy and paste. Bring my O in, make that a little bigger. I have two crows on my E, so I want to switch out for that skull E that I brought in. And I don't think I have a bat one in this. Ah, but see how it overlaps? I don't like that. So I'll go back with the original N that I had here. Perfect. You kind of want to keep in mind that this is our Flutter script font, so you kind of want to keep that look and keeping them close together. So Halloween looks good. I'm going to go over to my Happy. All right, so I'm pretty happy with my font. So I'll go ahead and get rid of all these extra characters that I don't need, delete that. Now these are still kind of in a free form right now, so I'll need to weld together. Select my happy, and then in the bottom right corner, select weld, and now I have my two pieces of font. So this is really cute on its own. If that's something you wanted to do, you could definitely make some kind of shirt or sign or maybe a mask. But we have these extra characters as well that are really cool and kind of bring a design together. I'll show you those. And they're going to be what you would use like your like numbers, like your exclamation point, your at symbol, your pound symbol, your money symbol. That's what you're going to be using to access these. And you don't really need the character map for that, so I'll show you how to do it in Cricut. You'll just shift press one, and then you have your first one. You shift press two, and then you have your second border, and so on and so forth. Now, I kinda like the first one I did, so I'll go with that. and maybe change the color up. But there you go. It's really easy to use our extra characters when you purchase one of our super fonts. This same method will apply for anything else like our regular Flutter font. So if you guys have any questions, please email or call us. If you wanna see more tutorials like this, please don't forget to comment below, like, and subscribe. Thanks for always watching guys. Good luck and have fun crafting. <laughs>